Hello everyone, in today's video I'm building this simple, dirt cheap airbrush spray booth I constructed from some basic materials I had sitting around. I'm making the spray booth from 18 by 24 inch corrugated plastic sheets, which are inexpensive and relatively durable. To attach the hose that I'll be using to vent the fumes, I'm mounting a 6 inch duct flange to the back of the box. I placed it toward the left side of the box since I'm right handed and will generally be spraying towards the left rear corner. I don't know how much of a difference this will make, but I've seen this done on other spray booths so I thought I'd try it out. I used a rotary tool to cut out the center section and then I drilled the holes for the fasteners. I used a strip of duct tape to hold the back piece to the bottom while I sized up the left wall. I marked where I wanted to cut this piece, then measured the distance and duplicated it onto the opposite side to make sure that this edge is square. After I cut the left side piece to the correct length, I ensured that it was the correct size and then used some shoe goo and duct tape to secure all the pieces. I repeated the same process for the right side, however I cut this piece at an angle to make reaching over for paint or tools a tad bit easier and to allow more light to shine into the booth. Speaking of light, I haven't yet but at some point I'll probably be adding some LED light strips or something similar to the booth. I think having some light shining down from the top would be a nice addition. I secured this piece the same way I did with the other ones, with just a little bit of duct tape and some shoe goo. And finally, I mounted the top piece, which I again cut at an angle. To hold the exhaust filter in place, I'm sandwiching it between a piece of corrugated plastic and the back of the spray booth. To hold this piece in place, I figured it would be nice to create some simple magnetic standoffs which I designed in Fusion 360. The design is very simple, I made a place for a magnet to be secured to the front and I made a couple screw holes in the back giving me the option to mount these using screws for more strength. Thank you. 
After completing the design, I printed out the pieces and glued the magnets to each mount. Here I'm securing a small piece of foam padding that will go between each of the magnets. For better strength and to improve the overall appearance of the spray booth, I added more layers of duct tape to all the edges. I then installed the flange to the back of the box. Once all the bolts were tight, I then attached a leftover piece of aluminum dryer vent duct. I just used glue to secure the magnetic mounts to the back of the booth. I think this will be more than strong enough for these mounts, but I can always use screws to secure these in place if I want to in the future. I then cut the piece that will hold the filter in place up against the back of the spray booth. I'm using a 20 by 20 inch exhaust filter that you would normally use on a full size spray booth. I needed to cut two inches off the top in order to make it fit. I'm not sure how necessary those magnetic mounts are since the piece that slides in front of the filter fits pretty snug. So for now, I'm not gonna bother gluing that piece to those mounts. I'm very pleased with the finished result. I'm actually quite surprised by how solid it feels. I was afraid that this thin corrugated plastic might be a little flimsy, but it feels very rigid. I also like the size. I only really intended to use this for small parts, but I wanted to make sure that it was big enough so that I could also fit a typical 110 scale RC car body inside as well. Currently I'm using a 6 inch inline fan to vent the fumes out a window. This is fine for now since I'm only painting with acrylic. However, I plan on using something different when I start painting with enamel and lacquer paint due to the slight risk of this style of fan igniting that vapor. For venting flammable fumes, a blower such as this would be safer since the electric motor is located outside of the airflow. Although the risk of the vapor igniting is very unlikely, especially when just using an airbrush due to the high concentration of vapor that is necessary for ignition to occur, it's still not a bad idea to lean on the side of caution. I'm not really sure how much this booth would cost to build, since as I mentioned earlier, I constructed this from things I already had on hand. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and it gives you some ideas and inspiration for anyone who might want to build something similar. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.